Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users on how to increase the quality of our subsurface scattering effect. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have a scene from the Introduction to Mental Ray in Maya 2009 course. Um, it's actually a puffer fish here, and I do have a displacement on it. So to see what we're working with, let's go ahead and just render this out. And as we can see with the result we get back, if we zoom in here, especially in these spikes, we can really see it's uh, really grainy. As well as here in the tail, our uh, subsurface scattering is really bringing back quite a bit of uh, noise. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, save this image out so we can compare. Now, uh, as with many rendering uh, effects, subsurface scattering is very uh, dependent on the lighting in the scene as well as uh, being very scene dependent. Okay, so the uh, graininess that's happening in our renders is actually an indication that the subsurface scattering isn't able to get enough light samples in order to get a nice smooth result. Okay, so to fix this, we want to open up our subsurface scattering node. So I'll double click on it. And here in the attribute editor, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see a light map. Now the light map is actually uh, attached here. But underneath the actual texture itself, we'll see the samples, uh, the sample size. Right now it's set to 32. Now once again, um, with many rendering effects, the uh, actual values that you import are going to be very dependent on the size of your overall scene. So the values that I put in here may not be the exact values that you'd need to use for your project, uh, but you may need to play around with a couple different options here, a couple different values in order to get the right look uh, for your particular project. Okay, so uh, for this example, let's go ahead and crank this up really high, maybe something like 512. Now it's important to keep in mind, anytime we increase the samples, it's also going to increase our render time pretty significantly. So I've gone ahead, um, this render time is at 2 minutes and 3 seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and re-render this with our increased sample size. And as we can see, uh, with our increased samples here, we're not getting any of the graininess that we had before. So this is uh, before, and this is after we've increased our sample size. In this particular case, it's actually uh, render size has gone down, but that's uh, not something that you'd expect to get from increasing the sample size. So uh, just keep that in mind. When you increase your sample size, uh, you're usually going to get a, a increased render time as well. But you also will get some nice smooth results. Okay, so let's look at how we can increase the quality of our subsurface scattering effect. If you want to learn some more tips on how to increase your render quality with Mental Ray, check out the Introduction to Mental Ray in Maya 2009 course.